Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to fix the issue where user cannot type in search on Windows 10. It is a pretty basic task for an operating system to allow its user to search for a specific file or application. However, some users are experiencing trouble with Windows 10 Start Search or Cortana Search. This issue prevents users from typing into the search bar of the Start Search. Some users cannot interact with the search box. They can't click on it or type in it or paste anything in it, whereas some users can use Control V command to paste in the search, but they can't actually type in the search bar. This is obviously not an issue with the keyboard since this issue appears only with the Windows 10 Start Search. As you can imagine, this can cause a lot of problem for users. So, first of all, what causes the search do not respond. There are a few things that causes this issue. First is ctfmon.exe. This file is located in the system32 folder on your Windows. ctfmon is the Microsoft process that controls alternative user input and the office language bar. The issue can appear if this file or service isn't running. Running this file brings back the language bar which fixes the issue. Second problem Second cause can be unresponsive Cortana. Sometimes the issue might be caused by unresponsive Cortana service. Cortana runs in the background and you see it running in the task manager. Sometimes, for no apparent reason, these services can stop working and simply rebooting them fixes the issue. The third cause can be MS CTF Monitor. This service is responsible for monitoring Task Services Framework System Service. Since Text Services Framework System Service is related to the text input, a problem with this service can cause this issue. A problem with the Text Service Framework will prevent you from typing in any of the Windows modern apps as well. So if you are facing the same issue on the modern apps like the new Windows Calculator, then the most likely issue is with this Task Service Framework and not with Windows Search. So let's jump over to first method that is to run ctfmod.exe, hold Windows in R key and type C colon backslash Windows. backslash system32 backslash ctfmon.exe and hit enter. So running this will fix the issue. You should be able to type in Windows search. You might have to repeat these steps on every reboot or every since in a while. So if you notice the problem is back, then simply repeat these steps and you should be good to go. You can also follow the steps next to make sure some to make some changes in the registry so you don't have to repeat this task on every reboot. However, we will suggest you wait a little bit to see if the problem comes back or not. If it does, then apply the solution we are going to provide you now. Press Windows in R key and type CMD. Now press Control Shift and enter or you can also press Windows and X key to open command prompt in administrative mode. Now press yes for the USC prompt. Once you are in the command prompt, type the following key and hit enter. Once you see the message that the operation completed successfully, then try typing in the search bar and see if the issue is resolved. If it's not, then we can jump over to our next method. The next method is to reinstall all the default apps. Sometimes this problem can be caused by an issue or corruption with the default apps of the system and simply reinstalling your default apps will fix this issue. Now let's follow the steps and see how we can fix that issue. So press Windows and X and launch the command prompt in administrative mode again. You have to press yes for the USC prompt. So once you are in the command prompt, type PowerShell hyphen execution policy space unrestricted and press enter. Now you should be able to see the PowerShell execution policy unrestricted appear on the top of the command prompt now. Now type in the following command prompt. and press enter. So here's the command. Hit enter and you will see that all this, the apps are being installed now again. 
So once we are done with this command, check again. If the problem is still not resolved, then let's follow the next steps. Press and hold Control, Shift and Escape key. This will open up Task Manager. Click on File and click on Run New Task. Now put the check on Create this task with administrative privilege and in the text box type PowerShell. Once you are in the PowerShell, type in the following command and hit Enter. Once the command is run, reboot the computer and check if the issue is rectified or not. If this doesn't work, then restart your computer again and then see if that fixes the issue. If you are still not able to type in this search, let's jump over to third method and that is to end the task for Cortana. Press Control, Shift and Escape key and we have to locate the Cortana service. So if you are not able to locate Cortana here, go to services and see if you can find Cortana. Once you find Cortana, just right click on it and click on end task. And this should rectify the issue. The fourth method that we have is to import msctfmonitor.xml from another Windows 10. So you, for this you need another Windows 10 computer and there you have to press Windows in R key and type TESK SCHD dot MSC and hit enter. Double click the task scheduler library. Now go to Microsoft, go to Windows and once you are in the Windows find me just make this thing bigger okay now here we need to find text services framework so I'm gonna go ahead and press T there we are now from here and note that this these steps are to be followed on a, another computer running Windows 10 just right click on MS CTF monitor and click on export export this XML file on any location and from here copy this file to a USB follow the same steps to reach till this folder and on your computer once you are on the same location, just click on import task and import the same MSCTF, MSCTF monitor file which we exported on the second computer. So once the task is imported, just right click on the task and click on run. Once the task is running, the issue in hand should get resolved. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.